ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਮਾਤਰਾ ਮਾਸਟਰੀ 2020 ਐਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਲੈਸਨ 9 ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜੀ ਆਇਆ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਨਵੀਂ ਮਾਤਰਾ ਸਿੱਖਾਂਗੇ ਯੂ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਨੋ ਥੀਸ ਲੈਟਰਸ ਰਾਈਟ ਸ਼ੂਰ ਓਕੇ ਲੈਟਸ ਟੈਸਟ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਥੈਮ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਲੈਟਰ ਵਾਟ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਡਸ ਇਟ ਮੇਕ ਓਕੇ ਯੂ ਗਾਟ ਇਟ ਊੜਾ ਮੇਕਸ 3 ਸਾਊਂਡਸ ਊੜਾ ਮੇਕਸ ਅ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਓ ਊੜਾ ਮੇਕਸ ਅ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਓ or uda makes a sound ooh uda does not make its own sound it takes the sound of the vowel good job how about this one what is this letter ada that's right ada makes a sound a uh, but ada also makes a sound a uh, ada also makes a sound a uh, with the lama and ada makes a sound o uh, with um kanada on top okay and what is this letter ed good job ed does not make its own sound it makes a sound a or e or e okay three sounds now these are called vowel letters they are not consonants they are vowel letters like a e i o u now um these are used to make independent matra sounds which you will learn about later on in some um words in punjabi we do not use a consonant we only use vowels and these are the letters that will be used to make those word, words for example a a means come right ara kanna a that's what it is so you will learn as we go along okay now what is this letter na 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 makes a sound na what is this letter rara rara makes a sound r good job okay so make sure you know all the letters Today's mantra is dulama it's called dulama do lama we, we learned the lama right one one um, line up on top the diagonal line now today is do lama and it makes a sound a eh in hello or a eh in pan pant right those are the sounds that it makes dulama looks like this and it reaches the full width of the letter we add the dulama above the letter in a word okay you cannot use the lama with uda and ed those are the exception these letters only take three matras each and there are nine matra symbols all together let's read some of the word examples ha anger hanger hanger is a hanger cherry 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 is a cherry um you you love cherries right i love cherries let's say the maharani with the lama added the lama a sa se de lama sa ha he de lama ha let's say that ade de lama good job a sa se de lama sa ha he de lama ha ka ke de lama ka ka ke de lama ka ga ge de lama ga ka ge de lama ka nga ge de lama nga now you will almost never use this letter in in speaking punjabi chache dilama cha chache dilama cha jaje dilama ja chaje dilama cha nyanye dilama nya again you will not use this letter very often in your speaking punjabi tanke dilama ta chache dilama tha dadde dilama da tadde dilama ta nani dilama na tadde dilama ta tadde dilama tha tadde dilama da tadde dilama ta nani dilama na pappe dilama pa pappe dilama pa babbe dilama ba babbe dilama pa mamme dilama ma yeje dilama ya rere dilama ra lalle dilama la babbe dilama va rade dilama da shishe dilama sha zaze dilama za fafe dilama fa now when you sleep tonight my sound is going to go in your ears and you're going to say ara dilama a sa sa dilama sa you're going to say that in your dreams also maybe if we need to add a nasal sound in the lama words we use a 
bindi. Remember, we learned about bindi and tippi. So here we will choose a bindi like we used in hanger here. Let's make some Dalama words. There are only 10 words you will learn in this lesson. You have to master them. If you can read 10 words, you can read any words because you know all the letters, right? T, A, N, T, Tent, Tent. Tent is a tent. In Punjabi, we call it Tambu also. K, A, N, D, Candy. You know candy. Th, A, L, E, Th, A, L, E. Thali is a little sack. Thala, thala, thala is a bag. Cherry, cherry, cherry is cherry. Cherry-an, cherry-an, cherry means more than one cherry. Bread, bread. So in English, you have the sound a and a, right? When we want to use the, and we only have dulama that makes both sounds, but when we want to use the sign a, we add an adak here. That means bread. If we didn't have adak, we'll say brad. And brad is a very different thing, right? Brad is that pin you use to hold some papers together. So this is bread. We add the adak. This one is desk. Desk. So again, we don't need an adak, but it's a crisp sound. Desk. D ask. Desk. P an k ek. Pancake. Sp g a t sp g a t spaghetti. In Punjabi we say spaghetti, but um, in English it is spaghetti. So make sure you read these words again and then copy them once we are done with the lesson. Now here are the sentences. Good thing about these sentences is that we only use those letters and matras that you have learned already. Okay, so we'll read these words and we'll read the sentences and then you will circle the spelling words in the sentence. This is your spelling word, you will circle that in here and then read them two more times after we finish the lesson here. Okay, this word is tent. Ten camp te tent vich rahange. We will stay in the tent at the camp. Candy, jada candy na kha. What will happen? You'll get cavities. Thali. Thali which ki hai? Thali is a little sack. Thala. E phala wala thala hai. So this is a shopping bag. Cherry. Cherry mitti hai. Cherryan. Cherryan mitya han. Bread. Bread makhan te jam nal kha. Do you like bread with makhan and jam, with butter and jam? I do. Desk. Desk te kam kar. Do you work on your bed or in the desk? You should sit on the desk in your chair. Pancake. Breakfast which pancake khaye? Should we eat pancakes in breakfast? Spaghetti. Saas wali spaghetti kha. You notice that there's a question mark, same as in English, right? Now, here are the same 10 words. And now you see the pictures with them, okay? And read them again, trace them. Here are the missing sounds. And then you copy the words here four times. Okay, make sure you read them and write the missing sounds. On Tuesday, you look at the picture, see the word candy, and there are many correct words here. Make sure you circle all the collect correct words. This is going to give you practice and reading. Okay. On Wednesday, these are the sentences that we read earlier. So go ahead and copy these sentences on these lines. Now, some of the sentences might be long, so you might have to write them smaller. And then Thursday, you have to sort these words in these categories. Three letter words go here, four letter words go here, two letter words go here, things you can eat go here. All other words that don't fit anywhere else can go here. And if you fit everything in these words, you don't have to write anything in it. Maybe you can write your name in there. Okay? And then you will take this quiz with your teacher, which should be good. You, I think you will do well because it's not a hard test, a hard lesson at all. You're becoming really good at um, reading Punjabi. And that is our lesson today. And that's it. And then I'll see you in the next lesson. And uh, until then, 
कीप वर्किंग हार्ड वाहिगुरु जी का खालसा वाहिगुरु जी की फतेह